hey, let's take these colors of yarn and turn them into a ghastly rug. I always start out with a quick, horrible sketch just to plan out the colors and color match and to make sure I have enough of all of the yarn that I need. And I had to figure out how to translate Ghastly into a rug. He has these kind of gas bubbles floating around. So we're just going to add a border of a lighter purple around the entire Pokemon. This rug was made with six different colors. White for the eyes and the teeth. He kind of has these lines around his face too. I'm not sure what colors to use yet, but for the outside smoke, I used Amethyst by CraftSmart. Deep Violet by Karen for the main smoke in his tongue. Eggplant by Big Twist for the inside of the mouth, and I ended up using this for the lines on the face. Two different brands of black, I used Red Heart for the outline of Ghastly, and Karen's black for the inside of his head. And later on, I added White Smoke by Impeccable from Michaels to add a shadow on his teeth. Let's finally get started and prep the frame. Depending on what way you want Gasly to be facing on the right side of your work, don't forget to reverse your image when tracing. And there's the freehanded border. We are finally ready to start tufting. So we're going to start with the darker black for the outline, which we're going to use Red Heart. These outlines did look a little bit too thin for what I wanted it to be, so once I was done tufting the entire ghastly, I just went over it one more time to thicken up the lines. I originally used amethyst for the lines around Gasly's eyes to see what it would look like, but I later changed it to eggplant. Next is white for the inside of Gasly's eyes and his teeth. Moving on to eggplant for the inside of Gasly's mouth. Okay, we're using deep purple for Gasly's tongue and his main gas bubble. This is when I decided to remove some of the white from Gasly's teeth and add a light gray to give it a type of shadow effect. I ended up liking it, so I just kept it. We're grabbing amethyst again to do that outline that we created. 
I got really close to my frame here, so just be careful so you don't dull your scissors. This is all I had left of the amethyst. Is it going to be enough to cover this little spot? It's literally just enough to have good coverage. I'm so thankful I didn't have to go back to the store. <laughs> Next is our Karen black, which is the lighter black. And we're just gonna fill in the rest of his head. I did not like the light purple for the lines on his face anymore, so I just took them out and replaced it with the eggplant color. Okay, we're all done tufting and ghastly. That's the back and this is the front. Give him a quick glue and we're just gonna let him sit overnight to dry and I will be back tomorrow to finish it. Bye. It is the next day and the glue is all dry. So we can take it off the frame and finish him by putting a backing on him and shaving down any loose ends. Those extra rectangles are just for me for my swatch wall so I can reference colors again in the future. I know I've said this before, but I often use popsicle sticks so I don't burn my fingers with the hot glue. This is just a quick comparison to show what a rug looks like, not carved and carved. 
some rugs look better not carved so there you go I'm gonna finish the other side off camera and let's just clean them up Hey, Gasly is all done. What do you think? He is available in my Etsy store. You can follow me on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and on Etsy at the Tufted Buffalo. Let me know who I should make next. Bye!